All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I put together a canvas page with what is probably close to a week's worth of assignments for a ninth grade class. The page in Canvas is accessed through pages. Currently, that's not visible in my course. I'll do that later on. So the topic of the course is waves. Um, I've included an image just for some visual appeal. And then I have an assignment grid for the week. Under the assignment grid for the week, I've decided that there are basically three types of assignments I want my students to do online. Activities, uh, videos, readings, and I lied, actually four things. The fourth one is a, a live class discussion type thing is what I've called it here. So four things. I just came up with some simple icons also for some visual appeal. On the page, I formatted it using a three column table. The first column is an icon just to help with some wayfinding for students. The second column is the name of the activity type, do, watch, read, discuss, a time estimate. And then in the third column, I've got something that's designed to be read and um, the links to be followed in order. So for example, let's look down here at the watch section, 10 minutes. So I'm here, uh, there's a icon of a computer, watch 10 minutes, waves can be classified in a number of ways, we'll focus on two. I created two videos, let me just show you really quick what that would look like. It takes me out to a YouTube link, uh, we'll see if this loads here in a reasonable time. I recorded some YouTube videos, uh, actually just earlier tonight, this one's about four and a half minutes long. I'm just going to let this crank up here so you can see what it looks like. All right, that's me standing in front of a whiteboard in my office over here in Dewey Dormitory. Um, this took very little preparation. I stood in front of this whiteboard and I talked my way through a couple of vocabulary terms for my ninth graders. The intent here is that they would read that sentence, watch that video, take notes as they go along, and then they'd come in and watch a second video. Highly recommend chunk up this information. Do not create videos more than about four minutes long. Uh, mine was four and a half, slight push there on time. And then you can see here in the next section, I've got them doing a reading. I explain a little bit about the reading. I have a link out to it, have them come back here. And eventually is kind of the, what we're building up to is this two piece activity, do and then discuss. Time to check your understanding of the WAVE vocabulary. Later this week, you'll be joining a live Zoom call with your other students in your class. Before then, prepare to present a WAVE and describe its key measurements as follows. I wanted something that could involve the kids interactively, so I said, uh, go out to YouTube, find a video clip of any kind of WAVE, estimate some properties of that WAVE, estimate their measurements, and then pre be prepared to present them. What I've created here, before jo joining the call, submit your responses in this assignment. I actually here am using a quiz inside of Canvas. Now, I'm looking at it as teacher view. I'm going to hit preview so you can see the student view. Here's this quiz. I put that in air quotes here. Really what I want them to do is submit the video clip and submit the estimates of the measurements. It is technically a graded quiz. It shows up in my homework assignment. I have it that any numeric answer from a range of zero to a million counts as correct. Uh, you could also have essay answers if you just want them to put into some text. So my kids will all automatically get 100s on this quiz if they just do it. And the idea is they submit that, then they show up in the Zoom call, and we're going to discuss some of the stuff they've learned asynchronously earlier in the week. Uh, when they join the discussion, I'm going to put them in breakout rooms, and the students are going to present their video clips to each other in the breakout room. I wanted them to submit the links to me so that I could see what they were doing in case I missed it in the breakout room. I hope this has been a helpful tour of how you can set up a Canvas page to guide approximately a week of class.